All right, you guys, just got back from the store, good old Target, and I have something I wanna show you guys. I got a new Magic Keyboard for my iPad Pro. I've been wanting one of these for a long time, and I'm gonna do a little product review of it for you guys. I know these have been out for a while, but you know, product reviews are fun, so why not? So without further ado, let's get into it. on the new keyboard now that I've been using it um, about a week now so a couple things first thing I noticed is the weight is crazy this weighs about as much as my laptop now when I first got my iPad I loved the fact that it was so light this adds a lot of weight to it you know you're not gonna hold this in one hand and walk around with it um, just because the keyboard itself is super heavy. So once it's on here, your iPad's really heavy too. So that's one downside. The keyboard itself is actually smaller than like a normal keyboard. You can see it's the size of an iPad. So uh, some of the keys are a little bit smaller, shrunk a little bit just to fit in that form factor. It does make typing on it the first couple times kind of weird. I got used to it, it's really not that bad. I love having a keyboard on my iPad though so helpful instead of having to you know pull up your keyboard and type on the screen and then swipe it back down or you can't see part of the screen or any of that okay so the trackpad is probably my favorite part of this it's super easy to use it has this awesome little dot and it actually animates with your apps your apps will move and it feels very organic it has a nice feel to it and you can use it side by side with your mac that's a nice feature they've had out um, that I can finally utilize. You know, that pencil's nice, you know, the touch is nice, but then having the trackpad just is so helpful. There's hand gestures, similar to as you're on your Mac. Uh, everything kind of works very similarly. They did a great job of designing the UI around this keyboard to make the keyboard super useful. I love just the durability of this. It feels very premium. If you were to drop it, if you were to hit it on something, it feels like it would really hold up well in that. Not that I'm gonna do that, not that I would recommend doing that, but it definitely feels like it's drop proof. Um, I'll leave that up to someone else to try out though. The iPad itself aligns based on these little dots right here. Those line up those dots and makes it just snap right in place. That makes your data transfer be able to happen as well. So that brings us to the best part of the new keyboard, which is the extra USB. So it adds an extra USB-C port and it's not as fast as plugging into that USB-C port, but it's an extra port, which means you can charge off of this and have accessories plugged into this. And where that comes in to be super helpful for me is in case I want to plug it in this bad way. Or even this, my, my sand disk. So I can actually add it off of my iPad now while having it connected to AC power and it's not gonna die because it's running off the battery. That's really helpful for things I do like editing on airplanes, editing in coffee shops, things like that. I can now do it all on my iPad, especially with the new Final Cut Pro app, which we'll do another video on. It's amazing. So it adds so much functionality to an already really incredible product. Who is this really for? Um, I think people that are gonna get the most functionality out of having this keyboard are gonna be people that are already buying an iPad Pro anyway. You know, uh, you wanna edit on the go, you wanna write notes, you wanna be able to uh, do some of those things that you can do on your computer, but it's easier to do with a touch screen and you know, write notes with a pencil and all of that. But you really need that extra either port on the side or you need that keyboard, you need to be able to type. I, for one, prefer to type versus writing my notes and having them transferring from the pencil into text. It seems to be more accurate to type and way faster at typing. So I really prefer having that. I also love having the trackpad. It just feels like I have more control over what I'm doing. Anyone that's going to be using this for professional purposes like that, or even someone who wants to get rid of a computer, you're not really using your computer much, you're more on your phone, more on your iPad, and you just kind of want some of that functionality to cross over from your computer to your iPad, now you can. Uh, very helpful. I don't really see a redesign coming out anytime soon. I don't know why they would. 
Um, they're really not redesigning the iPads themselves, so I don't know why they redesigned the keyboard. The keyboard's awesome, works great, and I would recommend it to anyone who has an iPad Pro, iPad Air, um, and is just really looking to get a little bit more use out of it. Um, so what there you have. You can just you know, open it, folds out, it's very adjustable. Um, but this is my favorite. Oh, it's like snapping each other. Good big book or something. Yeah.